Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang, Nodi Gang. Welcome back to the channel. In today's Madden 22 video, we're going to be going over how you can make constant coins over and over and over. If you're new to the channel, drop a like on the video, hit that red subscribe button, and welcome to the Tutty Squad when you do. Make sure your notifications is on. These methods that I put out are for subscribers with their notifications on that can get alerted in the first two to three hours and make the most coin profit. Let's get into today's shout outs. Our first shout out is going to be to Lee Rage. Another shout out to Charles Wright. We got a shout out to Lynn Medic and another shout out to Mao High TV. If you want to be shouted out in the video, all you got to do is be active. Make sure that you are subscribed with your notifications on. Go in the comment section right now. Nodi Gang. Let's get into today's breakdown. This is your one stop shop for all Madden needs. Whether you're looking for some fly merchandise, you're looking for ebooks, you're looking for a Patreon membership, or you just want to become part of the Tutty Squad. I appreciate all the love and support. Everything is in the link in the description. Let's get it. All right, so first, our snowflakes is gone. They are switching over to training. So we end up with 247 extra training right there for having them little snowflakes left. So in this breakdown today, I'm going to go over two things. First, I'm going to go over what I did late last night in order to get max profit you come down here in my binder you will see i bought all these 91 overall zero chill players before they switched over each one of them quick sell for 7,000 training so i bought all these for 54 to 56,000 coins now that the snowflakes is gone and these 91s turned into regular training i could turn around and sell all these 91s for a 20,000 coin profit so that fast buying these for 55 to 56 thousand coins at about 9 10 o'clock p.m last night that'd be 20 40 60 80 that's a quick hundred thousand 95 to a hundred thousand coins that i can make but i'm going to use them for training that will give me 7 14 21 28 that will give me 35 thousand training for the cheapest possible price only spending 56 57,000 on each one of them and in turn they turn into 70 75,000 cards so that's a big dub right there I was gonna make a video for y'all late last night but I had already put three videos out so if y'all went and took advantage of the cheap market with the snow before it transferred over you made either a big profit or you got the cheapest cheapest training so if you come to my auctions and my newest bids i've been investing in the playoff program already so jalen ramsey's aaron Rodgers, who's been having an mvp season i've been going and buying a few of their power-ups because 7,800, 13,000, I can expect for this Aaron Rodgers to get up to 25, 30K. Jalen Ramsey to get around 15, 20K or higher. So if I buy for 7,000 and he goes up to about 20, 25K, that would be an easy 10 to 12,000 profit. Same with Aaron Rodgers. I'm slowly starting to invest in the playoff cards so I can make coins off of them. Now, what this video is about on how to make coins is the team builders the team builders right now is a lot of cards that's going for 42 to 45 thousand coins so you can consistently in the team builders to make a lot of coins you need 185 to 86 383 to 84s and 480 to 82 i'm going to give you the card prices to be able to make it for the cheapest amount and always resell it for 14 to 18 thousand profit you're going to be able to do this over and over and over especially while training is on the rise you're going to be able to do this now you can see inside the set now if you look inside the team builder set you need 185 to 86 you're going to need 383 to 84s and then you're going to need 480 to 82 overalls i have a full breakdown on what you should be spending what you should be able to get your snipes for and you can consistently make 12 to 18 thousand profit every single time i even have the best cards to sell that consistently sell for 40,000 or higher. You're going to be making these cards for 25 to 27,000. So for my newest bids, you need 383s, 
four 80s and one 85. So you can see with my 83 overalls right here, I'm getting one for 4,000. That's the max that you want to spend on an 83 overall. Okay, so if you come down, I'm getting 3,900. I'm getting a snipe for 2,900. My 85 overall, you need one of them. I'm getting for 59. Hundred and then you got the 80 to 81s. You can see 2100, 2050. A lot of different snipes that you can get right here for 80 overall. 1900 snipe. You can spend 10 to 15 minutes on the auction house and people will put certain cards out. Now, the filters that you're going to want to go between is most feared, superstar, and core elite. You're going to go back and forth between them until you hit the pieces that you need. So when you are looking for your 85, you're going to come onto the marketplace. You're going to try to go by legends and you're going to filter between offense and defense. Okay. So what you're trying to spend is 6,800 coins or lower for 85. Okay. So you're going to come down here to legends. You're going to always come down about four rows and then work your way up to try to find the cheapest price 6800 or lower so right here 7200 this is not what you want so you're going to filter between offense and defense until you can hit 6800 or lower for 85 overall if you can catch one for 6900 that's not too bad but you want to look at 6800 or lower for your 85 now for your 83s your 83s you're going to want to get for four thousand coins or under okay so 4100 is okay but four thousand or under now your 80 overalls you're going to want to get for 2400 coins or less so 2400 is about the max that you want to spend all total if you do the numbers that i just told you you will be making a card for about 25,500 coins up to 26,000 500 coins and then in return you can turn around every single time with the players that I'm about to tell you and you can sell them for 41 to 44,000 coins if you do the math after the tax that's going to give you between a 12 and 15,000 profit every single time it's going to be super fast you can do it over and over make you two or three team builders and you will be up to 50 60 70,000 coins and you can do this for the next couple days until they release whatever the next promo is so when you get all your set pieces I like to come over to Mutt GG and I will go between team builders. So I would look for one that's in the 42,000s or higher. Now, what I've been looking at was Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb is consistently over 40,000. So right now he's on the way down 1.73%, but he's consistently over the past three hours, eight hours, been selling over 40,000, 43,000, 41,000, 44,000. That's what you're looking for. Akeem Hicks from the Chicago Bears. He's up almost 1%. He's been consistently selling 42,000, 41,000, 44,000, 44,000, 40,000. So Akeem Hicks will be the best card after you get all your set pieces together. That's the card that you should probably make and go after. Now, I did this late last night. So currently right now, the hardest piece to be able to find for the amount is an 85 overall. Now, if you have to get an 85 overall with the new filters and now that the snow is out of the game for about 7K, it still should put you around 27K range. So you should still be able to make 10 to 12,000 profit every single time. If you do this a few times a day, 12,000, 12,000, 12,000, it starts to add up. Drop a thumbs up on the video.